IndieGamesAAA.com Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the one and only Great Digital TCG Search of 2014. I'm your host, as always, PDAM. And today, I'm going back to look once again at Soul Forge. Now, those of you who are sitting here wondering to yourselves, what exactly is Soul Forge? What am I experiencing when I'm experiencing Soul Forge? Well, it's another digital card game that I've I've been playing. Um, this is a member of the Final Four. This is my second look at the game, um, and this time I went online. I did some research. I tried to figure some things out. Um, so recently, I picked up a nice Android phone. And I was most curious to see if I could get one of these games on my Android phone. And the current answer is no. Okay? There is no Hearthstone. There is no Soul Forge. There is never going to be a Scrolls. And there is no War of Omens to speak of yet. So, that's off the table. But, I did do, in my research, find that Soul Forge is currently in closed beta for its Android edition. So that has me a little bit excited about the possibility of playing these games on the go, which is what they should be doing. That is literally the only purpose to this. Get it together, please. Or else I'm going to make my own game. It's gonna have seven lanes. You all can suck it. So that's what Soul Forge essentially is, is a five lane game made by people who were involved with magic at one point or another. And uh, they are members of Stoneblade Entertainment, the nice people who made Ascension, the card game which I adore personally. I backed that whole thing on Kickstarter. Um, didn't back Soulforge, but did pre-order it and got some early access. So, um, Soulforge. Uh, I wanted to play an online game. I found a deck kind of like uh, what... Somebody had described as a deck for people who didn't want to uh, feel like they had to pay to win. And uh, so I'm going with this a net deck and I'll do a timed game and join a queue. And we'll see what happens. Oh, 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 uh. so excited. Um, so this net deck is kind of like built off of rares and commons without like the high uh, price cards. There's also exciting news in the Soul Forge world. They're coming out with, I think, what is their second set. Slowly they're releasing cards from that set. Um, Rise of the Forge Born is what it is called, I believe. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess in the meantime, while I'm waiting for this, this opponent who is ready to play, and I'm not waiting anymore, so... So here's your basic setup. I have a nice skin in the background. I got that just by playing and earning in-game currency, which was nice. Um, and then you have your five cards you draw on each turn. And this guy is currently who I'm waiting for to do anything, I believe. I don't think it's my turn. It's not. So he's going to crush me. Uh, I have found it hard to win a single game of this, to be honest. Really, really difficult. Um, so I'm going to take my turns really fast and not think too much about what's going on. And that should work out well for me, personally. Fell Walker. Uh, when he is destroyed, put a 3 attack, 3 else on me in this space. So I should block him and then kill him twice with one guy. Jacob seems to not care to take... He he must not know that this is a uh, this is this is for my website. So some of your cards are really good at level one. Other ones are really bad at level one. Usually your ones that are good at level one end up being decent at level three. Your ones that are really bad at level one are amazing at level three. Um. So, uh, some features that aren't there that I've thought about maybe being there in the future include um, the possibility of, like, in-game chat. You can't chat with your opponents right now. Um, so I'm putting him out there to block him eventually. Hopefully that works out for the best. 
And then... I think this guy is pretty good there. Battle. So you get to play two cards a turn unless you take the first turn. Then you only get to play one. Um, so the cool thing that I kind of like the idea of is when... Let's say this is played mobily. Like, let's say... I decide to play this with Frank when uh, it comes out on Android. Um, he can take his turn. I can take my turn. Okay, and we it, it's kind of like the whole uh, words with friends thing. Like you're you're notified of it like after it happens. Uh, so there's no pressure to take your turn immediately. Like if you're playing with your friends, if you play a time match like this, you're like, hey. I want to get this done like now. I don't have time for the crap that you're trying to present to me. Um, and that may be a negative attitude. Um, so please don't like be that guy to other people. Other people are trying to enjoy themselves. I'm sure of it. Defend the ancients. Okay. Everything's going to be alright. What does she do? I maybe should have checked that. Activate. Target creature gets minus four attack this turn. Ugh. If you'd think about things, then not everything would go as poorly. I could kill with your ranty bolt, though. So essentially, my deck's trying to stall out until I can play my biggest dude. And then once I get my biggest dude out there, like, everything will be great. This guy's pretty good, if I remember. If a creature in the lane's destroyed, he gets plus two attack and stuff. Why didn't he play him there? That's confusing. But I guess it's fine. He doesn't want to kill him. I guess. That's a legitimate strategy, I suppose. I'm not here to tell people what and what not is not a legitimate stratagem. Uh, yeah. I'm just... See the... I'm just chipping one, one point of damage at a time. So I'm gonna take him out that way. Yes, sir. -ry. I'm worried about that guy. Because honestly, it's going to be very difficult to kill him at some point. If I don't kill him soon. So we're at level 2 now, and he drew a level 2 card. I did not. And that could be trouble. You, sometimes it feels like the game gets out of hand if you don't get that card when you need that card. So I want to kill that guy no matter what. And I'm going to make this guy a defender for the next turn. I'm just delaying. Okay, there's a level 2 card. It's cool that they like get cooler as they level up. So you got your like, oh, I'm just a dude -er, and like throwing my shapes. And then this guy is all about, you know, being a little bit bigger. And then this guy's the actual Colossus. Colossus of Clout. I feel Doom, I think, is the only way to describe it. That guy needs to die as quickly as possible. And then I need to find a way. Um, I need to find a way to. to to kill one of the other guys, so I'm just gonna play War Charger. I'm just chipping out of health, one one at a time. It's all about the grind, guys. So this guy, it seems like he's kinda on my level. So the thing that used to worry about me is, I felt like I was getting really, really wiped away in these games, and I initially thought that it was something that, uh, Hearthstone did way better was matchmaking me properly. Um, now I'm not as sure, you know, because uh, it's se seemingly like everything's going pretty well, and uh, like this guy doesn't seem to be like a whole lot better than I am. Uh, so let's kill that guy with that guy. Get this guy over here, and then. Murder everybody. Okay. So there's my level two Scrap Force Titan. So if I could like play him this next turn, 
and get him leveled to three and then instantly draw a copy my next turn, that would be super amazing. So each player starts at 100. I don't know if I've mentioned that. And your goal, believe it or not, is to take them to zero. Um, all right, so. Should be a pretty big advantage. I don't think I want this guy to die. So I'm gonna move him. He has mobility one. He's dealing nine. So I got two Glacial Colossus, which is okay, actually. Uh, they'll be able to defend. And the strategy is then to get them with jetpack. Then they get all, like, they lose defender and they gain mobility. I like it. I've always kind of liked uh, more turtley decks in these games, so. Uh, you hide in your shell, and then eventually you do the, your best to end the game by controlling pace. It's all about pace. So this, we're gonna have some things die. It's tragic, but it must happen. I may actually play this and then get Ionic War Charger out there because I'd rather level him up to three. I don't need the Colossus right now. So, all right, and I got Forge Guardian Beta coming out, and he gets really, really big. Becomes a 2018, which is solid. So now I've kind of created a board saw. It's going to be difficult for him to do anything unless he starts drawing some really good level three cards. I don't know. Maybe he'll sweat me out. Who knows? But um, the amazing thing is, like, with how little I've played, I was able to build a semi-competent deck, you know, with the advice of some people. Like, and I always find that's the best way to approach these games, is to come in and, like, not be completely resistant to, you know, like, suggestions and recommendations, so. Um, I may have to just get this guy killed, which is okay. And then get, like, Guardian out there. Now I feel like I'm in position to start winning, so. Uh, if I start drawing jetpacks and stuff. So this isn't a great draw, but I can, since I already have a full board, if he doesn't manage to get anything off my board, I can always uh, start upgrading things or trying to kill things with Lightning Spark. Um, so you can replace cards in your lanes, and that's the problem with this deck. I think there's a card that's supposed to help with this problem of, like, what I would consider a logjam. Um, but uh, I don't have it, so uh, I'll show you after this. They've come up with ways for you to, like, acquire cards and stuff in really cool ways. So some things died. Forge Guardian Beta is going to start getting to work here. I'm going to give him a couple extra health just to see if it's possible to keep him alive. Then I may get one more Colossus out there. Okay, so that was, that was 37 damage. There's the guy, though. Like, if you're able to turtle and get this guy out here, he's a 20-20 with armor 10. And what armor does is it prevents uh, so many damage before you actually take damage. So, if he did, like, if Forge Guardian Beta takes 16 damage, he'll die. But if he takes 15, he'll be taken to 1. Because that first 4 damage is prevented. This guy, I don't know if he just drew poorly or his distribution of cards bad. Um, not really sure. But he did not fare well against me. All right. So I think I just attack and win. Yay! Okay, great. First online win of the day, so I get a reward. I played a couple bot matches with this deck today to try it out. Got an event ticket. That's good. Okay. That's cool. Um, so, uh, let's talk about deck building and stuff. Um, because this is one of the things I actually really, really like. Is, is kind of how decks work. And it's just simply, you can use two of the factions, there's four factions, count them, 
and Utera, Tempest, Necrium, and Aloyan. That was an Aloyan and Tempest deck. Um, and what you do is you have to use 30 cards exactly. No more, no less. Okay? So, in Magic, you can play with 66 cards if you want. In, in Soulforge, none of that crap. You're playing with 30 cards and you're going to like it. So, uh, then you saw I got that event ticket, which uh, allows you to, to join these tournaments. So, like, uh, you can join this uh, constructed four-round tournament for three tickets. Um, and as far as the tournaments go, this is by far the most advanced game for, like, playing in tournaments and uh, playing in drafts. And I really, really, really love drafting. Oh, my God, I love drafting. Um, hence why I moved War of Omens on to the next round, because that was essentially a drafting, a game where you always are drafting. Um, and then you got, uh, your store, which they have daily, uh, deals on cards, and, uh, they have currently a sale on chests, including the Rise of the Forge Merch chest, and I really like how pixelated this is on the PC screen, because they're still making this for mobile, I think. Uh, patch 2.1 pack. Some of them can only be bought with this stuff. I'll buy. I'll show you a regular booster pack. I'll buy one of those. 5,000 silver. Um, so I can go ahead and just go to open. Pop open this pack. Shows you what kind of like rarities you got and everything. I got a heroic and a rare. So I'll show you my heroic. Uh, he is a scarab. I believe from the uh, Necrium faction. And at level 3, he will be armor 5. And if you have another Uteran. Uh, oh, if you have a Utera card in your hand, then you get to put a copy of it. Which is pretty dope. Um, that's pretty good. And then some other cards. Um, and then, like, let's say you earn extras from these cards. This system is still, like, kind of weird and not super great. Um, because you're gonna kind of, you're not gonna have as, m maybe not getting as much as you deserve, but like, I have some extra grave ghasts, so I can sell the two extra I have over the three I need to play in a deck for ten silver, which is pretty, pretty bad, but it's okay. So typically you're just gonna sell those. They don't have like a trading system or anything yet, but they've been talking a lot about doing that, so... That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, this is Soul Forge, and I'm sure if you watched the last one, this was a lot of the same. Maybe I understand a little bit more about it this time uh, to show you more of it, and kind of I like I like revisiting these four games because it gives me a better idea of what I'm looking for, and like when I open these and play these in the week prior to choosing, then uh, it gives me a better idea of of like exactly what I'm looking for out of one of these card games. So um, I guess my main thing is uh, check the results tomorrow. Um, it was this for scrolls um, and that will decide who moves on to the final two. And then that final day will just be a blowout uh, where I play both games a little bit and uh, you know, put up two separate videos. I'm sorry about my phone going off. I'm just so, so terrible. Um, but yeah, so look back tomorrow for the results show. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love doing these videos, and I've enjoyed all the weeks I've done these. So uh, your viewership has been great. And then uh, check back to see if your game wins, because your game wins. We'll be doing tons of coverage on that game uh, and playing it regularly and streaming. So uh, I look forward to, to hearing your opinions in the comments. And... I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.